Hello and welcome to this uh, video. We'll be doing some some quick testing of the new uh, if PPPoE driver uh, that's available in the um, two point eight zero beta version of PFSense CE and also the beta of uh, PFSense Plus. If you got that, um, so what I've got here is sort of a uh, sort of a lab setup here. I've got um, PFSense Community Edition two point eight beta latest one. Um, that is running on a Sophos XG430 um, Rev2 appliance, which is quite a beefy one. You can see it's got an Intel Exeon um, CPU E3 1225 version 5 um, with peak performance of 3.30 gigahertz, you can see there. And it's got four, four cores um, available for that. So... What I've got is a brand new, fresh install of the 2.80 beta, and it's just straight out of the box. Uh, I've not um, changed anything apart from you know, configuring the RAN and LAN. Um, and what I've done is, um, for this, I've created a bit of a, a lab PPPoE uh, environment. So I've got a PPPoE server running on my actual main uh, production router. Uh, my house um, and I've got, a, cause I've got a five gig five gigabit second internet connection which you may have seen on previous videos um, that is delivered to me via DHCP uh, rather than PPPoE um, but what I'm doing is just to try to replicate this experience so I've, um, I've got a PPPoE server running on that and then this um, lab and uh, Sophos um, XG box uh, is, is, a, is a client on that so you can see, um, I just set up a bit of a CG NAT set up there as well. Um, so yeah, so at the moment, um, it, this is running just fresh out of the box beta. Um, but if you just have a quick look, for those, um, well, it's obviously this video is obviously aimed at people who run PFSense and aware of the uh, PPPoE performance issues that some people um, can suffer on that. Um, and it's explained here in this uh, recent blog post that's uh, published on the April the 15th on the NetGate site. Um, so the issue is uh, the um, the current one in the uh, current release is you, uh, that's been in for a while. The legacy one uses uh, ND, MPD5, a netgraph um, for PPPoE, um, which is fine when you know, you've know got uh, slow slow internet speeds, but now we've got Faster internet speeds with you know people on multi gig internet connections now, and with ISP still, some ISP still deciding to use PPPoE for those um, high bandwidth connections. Um, it can still uh, it, this is where these problems can, can can happen, especially when you have got um, sort of uh, slower CPUs as well. Um, so what they've done is they've sort of created a new driver called if PPPoE. Um, and that uses uh, a sort of a new kernel driver. Uh, so of course you get these key features. One of the big ones is multiple optimization. So um, instead of the NetGraph one, which um, mainly uses sort of a single core, uh, sort of pins to a single core usually, um, and it, it's not very good at you know making most of a um, you say for multi-core CPU setup. Uh, this new one um, sort of helps to fix that. Um, and it's also got better uh, receive side scaling as well. So improvements will be seen mainly on the download side as well on that one. Um, so obviously NetGate have done their own test on this. They've done it really high speeds on their own um, NetGate appliances because obviously the um, NetGate who run PF, um, who, who company behind PFSense, they, they have their own hardware. Um, but obviously... So that's you know that's that's where they got the main testing for that, um, but what I want to do is do do testing on what um, a lot of people out there might be running PF Sense on, which is just what you got lying around. Um, in this sense, in, in my case, it's you know some software appliances, um, but yeah. So so the first thing to note is. Straight, so once you've installed the beta version, the new driver isn't enabled by default. So you have to go into system advanced networking, scroll back down to the bottom. You have to tick this box to use the new FPPPoE kernel module uh, for the PPPoE client. Um, and then once you've done that, you have to reboot 
um, the, the uh, PF sense box for that to take effect. Um, so first of all, I just want to do some testing of, uh, before we enable the new driver, just to give some baseline of what it's like, um, what it, how, how this performs uh, on the older NetGraph uh, legacy driver. So, uh, first of all, let's do a quick internet speed test. So, like I said, I've got a 5 gigabit second internet connection, so... And see, we're maxing out five gigs on a download. Again, this is this is on the um, the uh, existing legacy driver. We're not switched to the new one yet. And then upload is yeah, we're maxing it out pretty much there. And CPU, I did hear it spin up a little bit uh, on the uh, PF Sense box. Um, Top of these speed tests, they can go quite fast. So we don't actually get a, um, t you know, we don't get uh, a good idea of what the CPU is doing on the PF Sense box because it's because of how fast it runs. So what we'll do instead is we'll have a um, two-minute iperf test running. This is actually going to be run against um, a local server on my network, which has got a twenty gig NIC on it. Um, this is running on a ten gig NIC um, into this bot into the into the router, and this is a ten gig connected mach mach uh, PC here. So, in theory, it should be able to run at around ten gig. Um, but let's set that going. So you can see we're getting about seven gigs on there. Now we probably won't get the full ten gigs because I've only got a single ten gig connection into it, and you've got to count for it going in and out. Um, so you can probably hear in the background that CPU, you can see there that's gone through up to 60% on that. And you can see it looks, looks like it's maxing out one of the calls there. But let's jump into the system activity. And you can see right at the top there, we've got the, um, the queue there is pinned at 100%. So it's using hundred percent of one of the, I guess one of the calls there. Um, looks pretty much maxing out the unit. Um, you can see idle is balanced on on them, so it is trying to use multi call. It's not pinned to one call. You can see all the calls are in use, but we are maxing out the unit. Um, And you can hear the you can probably hear the fan in the background is absolutely screeching. So yeah, that is running full tilt. So let's stop that. I should say that was a download test as well. Um, if we try an upload test, and I've got eight parallel processes running here. So again, we're getting about seven point two gigs, which is. I think that's probably about as much we'll get anyway, I'd have thought, um, on this setup. So you can see it's creeping up. It's not as high. It's not 100% there as it was on a download. So the upload is faring a bit better on the CPU usage on this. Again, it seems to be using multi calls there. So if we stop that. Okay, so if we now go in and enable the new driver, let's see if that makes, well, what differences that makes. Uh, so yeah, we're going to enable the new driver now. So like I said, you have to click on that uh, tech, check, tech box in there, and then it's going to ask us to reboot, and then we we'll click OK. Okay, so that's rebooted now, so let's log back in. Um, so the PPPOE interface has come up, that's good. And if we just go back into System Advanced Networking, and we'll see now that we're on the new if PPPOE uh, kernel module. So let's repeat some of these tests. So first of all, just um, 
for Postavia will redo the uh, speed test dot net on that. So, if, so again, yeah, straight up to five gigs. So on the download side. And then I'll upload. Upload. Yeah, about the same. So there we go. There's sort of slight differences there. I think the upload, um, I get that even on the DHCP sometimes. So, but yeah, so that's uh, normal. Um, so let's do the iPerf test again. Again, this is testing uh, to my local um, Trinar server. Um, so let's do a download test first at eight parallel ports. So you see there we're getting actually better speeds there. So before we were getting around seven gigabits a second, now we're getting about 8.9. We're getting, yeah, pretty much full speeds, um, 8.9. The CPU is still screaming, you can see it's on the GUI, 60%. But you can see it's not pinned. Let's go into system activity, see what we're getting here. So you can see the difference is now we're not seeing that kernel um, traffic queue there, you know, at the top there. So at the top we've got idle, idle. Oh, it is actually creeping up now. It's ramping up. But we are getting more throughput, though. So that is, you know, around about a gig uh, difference there, gigabit a second. But yeah, it's still screeching away there. Um, but again, it's... It seems to be using all the cores, as I can tell, as far as I can tell. Uh, CPU 0, 2, 1, and 3 seems to be balanced. And still getting consistent speeds there. So again, this is downloading. So you see actually on the task manager it's showing 9.2 9.3 um yeah it's pretty good i mean that's pretty much max and that's you know in terms of 10 gig link considering that it's only one 10 gig link and we've got traffic going in and out yeah that's pretty good so yeah that's done it for two minutes so let's try on the upload site so that was a download to the client test let's do upload upload speed still around the same Again, it could be other factors here at play, but I mean, 8 gig is still pretty good. Again, considering it's just a single 10 gig link going into this PFSense box, well, not got um, you know, a lag or anything. Uh, so you've got to count that. you got um, PC, which is 10 gig for VLAN, and then but you've only got one 10 gig link into here. If you had two 10 gig links, Bonded like I do on my production router, then that would you know you should be able to max out ten gig both both sides easily. Um, but performance wise, though, see it's doing okay. Pretty much balanced out. Uh, if we go back to the main GUI page, so that's saying about forty-five percent. Still seems to be yeah. You can see it's a balance on these two, but I don't know if it could be balanced more or not. But yeah, it's not too bad. We can try pushing this, see if we get anything. If we try pushing 10 streams on here. Oh, there we go. So, okay, so 10 streams 
we're getting a full... Well, we were. Okay, a bit of a dip. But no, there we go. Yeah, so we are pu pushing through the full um, 10 gig there. 9.6, yeah. So that's with 10 streams. That's pretty good. Let's see what we're doing, how we're doing on performance now. So about 54, 55%. Oh, that's, that's jumped around. Pretty good. Want we'll to let that one for two minutes. Now that was just a, just a quick look at the um, the new PPPRE uh, driver and the beta version of PSSense 2.80 beta on the PSSense Community Edition. Um, yeah, just want to have a look at the the performance of PPPRE on you know non netgate hardware just to give people an idea. Um, I mean this the CPU. Uh, it's quite a big CPU anyway, but this is just a an extreme example of a uh, multi-gig for those out there who have got a multi-gig PPPoE connection and want to use PFSense and I want to see if um, the new drive makes any difference. As you've seen on some of the tests, it um, does seem to make a uh, a difference um, in both the speed and the um, CPU, um, you know, the, 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 the multi-core uh, performance there. So it does seem to be doing... Uh, something um maybe not huge performance gains but we do have performance gains there so that's good again it'll come down to what your what your cpu is you know you, you, your mileage may vary on this um but i'd say if it's probably worth a try uh if you've got you know some you know a spare bit of kit up running around or you don't mind testing a beta one then um it's probably probably worth it um but yeah excited to see when this comes out in the proper release version um, because I believe they've got some more improvements to make on it as well. And again, this is a beta version, so it's going to be buggy. Um, I think someone said one of the bugs is you don't get the um, PPP uh, logs. Um, let's see if we get it. Uh, system logs. Yeah, someone said he went getting. Looks like I'm getting them. Um, that's something some reported was they weren't getting the logs in here on the new actually yes it's right yeah 1340 yeah they, they, they could be run where we're on the uh, older driver so yeah that could still be a bug but yeah it's beta version it, it's going to be buggy so obviously I wouldn't recommend it on the production system but if you've got a spare bit of kit like me running around it's you know it's so good to do a test on um yeah like i said my my main internet coach doesn't use pppoe anyway but um i was interested because my dr site does have a pppoe connection i do a run pfsense uh, box over there uh i noticed you know um cp ramps up you know when you max out the connection especially when you um got wire you're know, running through wire guard as well so um but yeah so that's uh, it's good to see they got this new um uh pppoe driver uh, coming out and um, but yeah i know a lot, a lot of people have had issues with it uh, before so uh, so yeah hopefully this, this is useful to someone out there um but yeah and if you want is there anything else you want to, me to test on this um then do let me know um i got this bit of kit and i've also got uh, a sophos xg125 uh, rev3 uh, which is a sort of slightly well it's, it's much lower spec than this um you know running on now i've been doing testing on that um that's got only got like an Intel Atom processor, so much lower CPU. Um, but it's only got sort of one gig NICs on it. So on that one, um, I was able to max out the uh, one gig, you know, about 945, 950 uh, megabits a second up and down on PPPoE. Uh, to be honest, I was able to do that both on the old existing driver with no modifications and on the new one as well. Um, didn't really notice much difference on that box at those sort of speeds. Um, but again, the CPU is obviously able to handle it okay. Um, but yeah, but like I said, if, if you want me to test anything else, then let me know. Uh, but other than that, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.